Welcome back to Chess Reviews guys, DT here again. It's been a few days but I'm excited to be back. Today I have an excellent chess set to review for you guys. As you can tell by the title and by the picture, this is the Zagreb 59 series chess of Chessmen by uh, Hasse Stanton. I will try to keep this video under 10 minutes or around 10 minutes, so let's dive right in. The application uh, for this set, again I've broken the application down in three broad categories. You will probably have categories of your own when you consider purchasing chess sets. These are just mine. Uh, first of all, fast chess play or blitz. Uh, how would these pieces do? And then in that role, well, beautifully, the pieces are broad. I mean, the bases are the pieces are really broad. Pieces are really heavy. Uh, without getting too far ahead, this is probably one of the heaviest sets I have, especially on the size these are four inches or close to four inches. So how about the uh, display room? Beautiful. The the set is just uh, striking, as you can tell. It has the characteristic contrasting crosses or finials on the kings, the ball on top of the queen's uh, queen's crown, and also on the bishop. And just the design of the piece is very interesting, very unique. The knights out of the Russian style, if I'm, if I'm informed correctly. Beautiful uh, pieces. So they would really, really shine in a show-off or display kind of role. Very nice pawns as well. All the pieces really in general. The detail on the queen. Another reason why these pieces will be good on fast play is the thickness of the detail. These are no frail and fragile sharp corners, I don't believe. Even the colors have some thickness to them. How about the club? I think they would do well in the club if, if anything, they might be a little bit overkill. Because it's, it's too much set, right? It's so much set. But, um, sure, they will do well in that role too. Let's move on to the sign and flow. I think the design and the flow of the pieces is just near perfect. Very well designed. Very robust. And there's a continuity in terms of the design and the and the flow of the pieces. Let's take a look at the rook here. Notice the bases, uh, the rims at the bottom there, how they they really look a lot alike and contribute to that flow that I talk about in my videos. How about quality of uh, quality of the materials? Uh, wooden, boxwood and rosewood, proven woods of course. Let me move these pieces out of the way real quick. We have uh, blocking and wiking, rosewood and boxwood. The grain is outstanding. As you can tell here we have a cross on the blocking in a finial to show you these are removable so you could potentially have two white finials on the I was just I just had the other kind of crosser just to show you guys you could have it like that in case you were wondering it's just to show you what the cross looks like on these pieces so yeah Felt bottoms after I bought these around 2004 and after 10 years very little wear and tear almost no none to be found okay 
so that's the quality. I would think that these pieces, in terms of quality, will be very high quality, very excellent. How about craftsmanship in finish? I would have to say the craftsmanship is superb. Couldn't describe it in any other way. Almost no tool, tooling marks, very, very little. The detail is just great. If you look at the night here. Granted, if you want to be really picky, you can see that the knights, the faces of the knights are a little bit different from one to the other. I just think that because of these, these pieces would be so hard to make. So getting them to this point would require a really high level of skill. When it comes to side to side, they're almost identical. I don't find very many significant differences. Okay. The finish of the material is excellent in all the pieces across the board. It's not wearing off anywhere. It's perfect. One thing in terms of craftsmanship and finish, I have one pawn. I think it's this one here. So you can, so you can probably hear. I'm going to tap it with this pencil. The lead weight inside or the steel weight is a little loose. Has that sound. In contrast, this this pawn here, this pawn doesn't have a loose weight. And it doesn't have that sound. It's almost like something cracking inside. That's so because the weight is um, loose inside of the of the base of the, the piece. Have uh, let's see weight and balance. Weight and balance is excellent. The uh, the whole set weights at three pounds ten point eight ounces, or basically three pounds eleven ounces. It's a really really heavy set. I haven't weighed the king, so let me grab my scale real quick to kind of illustrate the point here. Okay. And I don't know if you can see on the scale, but that is 3.6 ounces. So very heavy king. Uh, the balance is excellent. The pieces, the base to height ratio of the kings is 44%. Making them really stable. And because they're heavy, it adds to that stability. I'm tilting them quite a bit there. No, at that point it will, let's see. Yeah. I mean, these are not as stable as the professional series I reviewed last, which have a, a, a little bit broader base in terms of the, the height, well, the ratio of the, the base to the, to the height of the king. But they're still extremely well balanced pieces. Uh, compliance, these pieces meet all compliance to tournament specifications. The height of the kings, both, both with the cross and the finials, is 3.96 inches. So they advertise as 4 inch pieces, <clears throat> but they come to 3.96, close enough for, for me. And, and I'm a little bit OCD about those kinds of things. How about um, the base 1.75 and again 1.75 to 3.96 that's a 44 percent ratio base to diagonal um, diameter of the base to height of the king resemblance to photographs excellent these pieces do the pictures really really give you a great idea of what you're getting in the mail if anything you might be happily surprised that you're getting a little bit more in terms of details. I found that to be true when it came to the queens. Okay. This particular set, I don't know if I mentioned that already, the color of the dark pieces is excellent across all the pieces. Very uniform, very dark, and beautiful green. 
so that's it. That's my quick review of the Zagreb 59 chess pieces. I want to cut my videos a little shorter. I realize they're going in the 25 to 30 minute lengths. So I wanted to give you something quick. Thank you for watching. Cheers, folks.